Alright, and hello YouTube, welcome back to another Civilization 3 Complete Edition video. Uh, I think this is video number 3 if my map's correct. Uh, if it's not correct, uh, blame me then. <laughs> um, so, we're just gonna start right off. Uh, load the game up, uh, YouTube.sav, that's the save file format for Civilization. Alright, loading. State 250 AD. Alright, so let's get back right in. So let's see, what do we have here? We've got a catapult, a spearman, and a warrior in Washington, which is making the statues is good. We've got Philadelphia making a temple. We've got uh, Boston making a swordsman. And New York making a colossus. Alright. Oh yeah, we got these guys. I don't remember who those guys are. I don't remember what that color is. Do the Greeks or something else? I don't remember. Do the Greeks or the Egyptians? That color. I'm not sure. I might be wrong though. Probably am wrong. I'm usually wrong with colors. I mean, I know that white's America, and then the purplish blue can be either the Incans or the French. <coughs> they all have their own different colors, and they all change. Some people think they change from game to game, but they don't. They don't. Why would they? They're stupid. Then you couldn't tell what was happening, or who was who. You want to be able to know who was who. You can't know. Well, you don't know who you're up against. I mean, usually you know who you select as an enemy, but still. You want to be able to know who you're about to fight. Maybe you know that they have a spe uh, really good special unit. Um, and you don't want to fight them. Uh, or maybe you know that they have a late special unit and you want to fight them before they get that unit. <laughs> so it's all strategy. Alright. I'm gonna road enter. Oh. <clears throat> I have been having fun the past, like, week. Um, I have had a lot of schoolwork to do. Um, and yet this is one of the weeks, or the weeks, yeah, where I, I don't really have time to do homework because I have a whole bunch of crap going on. Um, but, uh, it's of course the week where I've had pretty much the most homework all school year. Um, it's been, that's, like, a week or so, a couple weeks in the second quarter. Maybe about four weeks. A couple of those were half weeks though, so it didn't really count. But yeah, we're pretty far into the second quarter. Um, so yeah, I've had a lot of homework. <laughs> and I mean a lot. When I say a lot, I mean a lot. Statues of Supreme Lord. I love how I'm the Supreme Lord. Lord since we're, that's what this is. I hate how some of the, the Great Wonders, when you go into the city, you can't actually see them. Like that happens with the Temple of Artemis, the Mausoleum of Mausoleum, the Statue of Zeus, a couple of others. Um, I mean, Leonardo, Leonardo da Vinci's workshop is one of those. Anyways, but yeah, so that sucks. But I know what it does. Alright, so I want you making... Oh, what can you make? Uh, build a summer for now. Let me see what I need. Okay, check that military advisor here. What do I have? I have three workers, I have three scouts, I have seven warriors, I have two spearmen, one swordsman, and one catapult. Um, yeah, I need more workers is what I need. I'll probably get rid of... Well, no, let's get rid of one of these warriors. One of these conscript warriors. Such as. No, not you. They're not conscript. They're yeah, conscript warriors. They're not conscripts. Yeah, we're just fine. Here. I can disband you. Yeah, 
Yes, we need to. Okay, now I'm, I should be getting more money per turn because um, I now have the exact amount of allowed units, so I don't have to actually pay anything to cover them. I spawned with a lot of volcanoes. Um, probably because I set the age to 3 billion. Um, and 3 billion means there's a lot of volcanoes. So yeah. Those guys seem intent on invading my territory. Should like kill them. Ooh, yay! <laughs> More cultural influence. I wonder how big that thing's gonna get. That uh, city. Alright, so. We're gonna put. Let's see, what should we get? The sides, the path. Top. Let's get the path leading into it, because that looks good. Alright, so you, I don't want you to join in the city. I love how if you go on the black part, even if you know it's uh, an ocean square, he'll still try to like go to it. It's kind of stupid. He'll just like take the closest path. It's so dumb. It's really it? stupid. Stupid, I think. Alright, uh, where should I put this guy? Let's see, do I have a coastal city? I don't think I do. Or yes, I do. I so, uh, I think I'll put him... see where we can put a city near there, because I want to get that gold. This gold gives me extra money. Commerce is gold. Alright, so now we- oh, I told you not to build a spearman. I told you not to build that guy. Build another spearman. Scouts! I don't want any more scouts. Too many already. Who make a temple? Go explore. Come into my territory, you whoever you are. Uh you make walls. Uh sure, I'll propose a deal and see what you got. Uh, technology. Real worth. I really, I haven't gotten those yet. Oh, I did. Uh, you have absolutely no gold. Uh, why is zero extra resources? I could. No, I can't give you iron paper. Iron. You have a lot more cities. That sucks. Never mind. I don't give a crap. See ya. on wealth. Grr. I don't like you. Actually, what does wealth even do? I never even under I just knew it gave you money. But that's it. Let's see. Uh, would it be under game concepts? Wealth? Uh, would it be under city improvements? Wealth? Oh, there, yeah, well, okay. Well, it's called shields be converted to gold at a ratio of 4 to 1. So, 4 shields equals 1 gold. So, when I learn economics, the ratio is reduced to 2 to 1. Okay. So, let's see, how many shields are you producing? You're producing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You're producing 9 shields, so you're gonna make 2 gold every turn. Yep, that's good. Sure, well, listen. Uh. you. Uh, fine, sure, whatever. Shut up, Alexander. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. I'll kill you! I'll kill you. Okay, that was really creepy. Uh, no, don't do that yet. Uh, first make walls. And then, yeah, whatever. You go explore.
Alright, so you can send there. Yeah, that's a good place, because then we get that gold there. And that'll give us money. And, also, also, okay, so setting a new city, um, will allow us to support more units, um, because, uh, here, I'll show you in a sec when this turn is over. As each government can support a certain amount of units per town, which is, I think, four or less people, per city, which is between four and eight people, um, and, or, between, no, between, but later, let me see. Um, so, let's see, we got, uh, governments, so we got despotism, Alright, so here, yeah, whatever. So, unit support per town, per city, and per metropolis. It's all four for this. Uh, I think the best is, uh, I don't know, monarchy or feudalism. No, fe it wasn't feudalism. Fascism. Yeah, you get four, seven, and ten per metropolis. And those are the, the units that you can support without having to pay for them. See, my allowed units is 20. So now I don't have to pay for them because the towns are paying for them. And actually, uh, let's see. Um... Uh, what would it be under? Uh, towns? Cities? Uh, um, <laughs> I have no clue. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, it's some number. I'll check the manual and tell you next time. <laughs> but, uh, so yeah. So we're just gonna keep going with this. Explored all but down here in this area. Our continent. Recovery! Alright, so you go explore. Next episode, I'm probably gonna turn back on that thing where it doesn't actually show all of my moves and just does them really fast. Um, so yeah, that'll probably make this a lot easier. Um, it'll also speed things up quite a bit. Because with this, we just gotta wait for every single unit to move, and that's a pain. Yeah, I'll do that next time. But, uh, wait, let's see what each of my cities are working on. Advisors. Okay. This is advisor. You're working a warrior. You're making a temple. You're making the Colossus. You're making walls. You're making wealth. Okay, good. Next turn, the walls will be finished. Alright. Walls. Can you work on anything else? No, you cannot, so you're working on wealth. Let's see. How much many shields are you making? You're making, oh, you're giving me like one gold per turn, because you're only making three three shields. Actually, you're not giving me any gold per turn. Yeah, that's nice. Anyway. Continuing on, go explore. Go explore. Alright, I gotta end up the episode there. Bye!